R Studio presents. Mila Jovovich is opening up to fans about the horrific abortion experience she had two years ago. The 43-year-old Resident Evil actress decided to speak out in response to the new abortion bill signed into law in Georgia, outlawing all abortions after six weeks. I don't like to get political and I try to only do it if I really have to and this is one of those times. If someone doesn't want to continue reading, you have been warned. Miller wrote on her Instagram account. Our rights as women to obtain safe abortions by experienced doctors are again at stake. Last Tuesday, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed a draconian bill into law that outlaws all abortions after six weeks, before most women even realize they're pregnant, including in cases of rape or incest. This makes Georgia the sixth state to pass such a restrictive six-week abortion ban joining Ohio, Mississippi, Kentucky, Iowa, and North Dakota. These laws haven't been passed yet, but lawmakers in these states are trying. Abortion is hard enough for women on an emotional level without having to go through it in potentially unsafe and unsanitary conditions. Miller continued. I myself went through an emergency abortion two years ago. I was four and a half months pregnant and shooting on location in Eastern Europe. I went into preterm labor and told that I had to be awake for the whole procedure. It was one of the most horrific experiences I have ever gone through. I still have nightmares about it. I was alone and helpless. When I think about the fact that women might have to face abortions in even worse conditions than I did because of new laws, my stomach turns. Miller wrote. I spiraled into one of the worst depressions of my life and had to work extremely hard to find my way out. I took time off of my career. I isolated myself for months and had to keep a strong face for my two amazing kids. I started gardening, eating healthier and going to the gym every day because I didn't want to jump into taking antidepressants unless I had tried every other alternative. Thank God I was able to find my way out of that personal hell without turning to medication, but the memory of what I went through and what I lost will be with me till the day I die. Abortion is a nightmare at its best. No woman wants to go through that. But we have to fight to make sure our rights are preserved to obtain a safe one if we need to. I never wanted to speak about this experience. But I cannot remain silent when so much is at stake, she wrote. <laughs>